Okay, I'm back to show you the last three books in my journal collection, which is journals that other people made that I purchased. So I have three more to show you. And this one I bought because it's so different from anything else, and I love it. I love the, the charm of it and the style. And it's made by Kirsty at Adeline Country Cottage. She does not have an Etsy store. She has a website, and she does have a YouTube channel. So I will link her YouTube channel probably below. Um, it is put into a little soft, thin white cotton bag that she made. Not finished. Just, I like it. It's just really simple and easy and it's got this little tie sewn on to strips of the fabric and the journal is actually with a wood cover she took wood and she treated it somehow to make it look like it's whitewashed and it's got um, book page Mod Podge to it and vintage wallpaper that I absolutely love there's some there and it's blue I love that and on the back also. And there's her little wooden tag that says Adeline Country Cottage. She's from Australia. And she uses these rusty bent wires to um, hold the book together, which I think is pretty neat instead of book rings. So inside, again, there's more book page. There's some stamping. Um, wallpaper and then she took this kind of a heavy feed sack type of fabric which it looks like it's been coffee dyed glued at the bottom and stapled down the sides and then there's this pretty tag that she made tucked inside it says adelinecountrycottage.com that's her website there's a vintage postcard that she stitched all around and then this is a copy of a receipt that she turned into a pocket and there's the vintage wallpaper as um, hole reinforcers here. This is a book page that she painted on and with pink and some white it looks like or maybe that's gesso and did a little bit of crazy sewing there and then wrapped this little strip of paper around it and stapled it so I can journal on that and here or glue pictures or whatever. I think this will be fun to play in when I get to it. I love this piece of fabric. It looks like a vintage fabric the colors are gorgeous. It is stitched to some heavy um, artboard or cardstock or something, and there's a little fabric tab. This is looks like um, tissue paper or something, brown tissue paper that is glued down to this cardstock. More of the wallpaper. This is napkin that is glued to parchment paper, I think, like the kind you bake on, and it's stitched around it. There's lace at the top and bottom of this, and there, it's a pocket. It's a piece of brown tissue. This is wallpaper that's been stitched to that same artboard. Beautiful. I like the shabby chic look with the emphasis on shabby. This looks like very coarse muslin and some trim up there. I don't know what kind of paper this is. Reminds me of the little folders that this the cabinet card photos come in. And there's a back with a pocket again in the back. Isn't that neat? I love it. And then lastly, I have two journals from Gina from the Rebookery. I purchased this one not too long ago. She made this out of sheets, vintage sheet, and the cardboard from a calendar, a Courier and Ives calendar. I think that's 
I think it goes this way. I think it opens opposite of what I think it should. So she talked about this funky trim that she bought at a thrift store and she finally bought it. She kept turning away from it, but she finally bought it and then used it on this. It is pretty funky. And it's got this torn fabric tie that is underneath that trim. And it's a tri-fold. I just love all the stitching that she does and all the little details like that piece of lace there. And the sheet is beautiful. And it says the rebookery on the back. And then you open it up and there's a little fabric pocket there and a little piece of trim. And this is some flocked wallpaper just stuck in there. And on the back is one of her packing labels. A little clear thing with some paper glued on and an orange cash out voucher. <laughs> her books are very eclectic. So I consider her books very inspirational. And now I have two of them that I can look at to help get my juices flowing. This is one of the photo sleeves and she put a piece of wallpaper in there. She mostly uses secondhand things. She gets things from thrift stores and estate sales, but she does use some of the nice quality scrapbook paper to give better structure to the book, she said. There's some wallpaper here, two pieces of flocked wallpaper. This is an old ledger sheet that was used and it's folded up to form a pocket and fabric stitched on the side. So I'm not going to talk too much more about it. I'm just going to flip through it. Hmm. I think I got that in the other book too that I got from her. I think this one has three signatures. More wallpaper. I love that she put lots of wallpaper scraps in here because I can take them out and decorate the book with them. Some playing cards and a tally. Oh, that is a playing card. I have a tally card set that matches this. Look at that piece of quilt. Recipe card in there. Just a little piece of fabric. There was a hole in this scrapbook paper, so she put this little trim through the hole. I'm glad she put that fondue recipe in here. Um, I probably won't use it. It's Hawaiian fondue, but my husband and I, um, when we were first married, we did some fondue parties. Um, mostly we like the chocolate fondue where you could dip strawberries and stuff in it, but we did one where we would just heat oil up in the fondue and then we would stick in um, little pieces of cut up steak Fry, fry the steak. I'm sure that was real healthy. But back in the 70s, fondues were popular. We were married in 77. And even in, you know, after the kids were born and growing up and grown up and we had grandkids, we were still doing the chocolate fondue. I still like to do that. We like to dip angel food cake cubes and maraschino cherries and mini marshmallows and my favorite is bananas and strawberries. This is wallpaper. Anyway, so she included a fondue recipe in there and I thought that was neat. More wallpaper. More wallpaper in here. Oh man, look at all that. One, this one's flocked. That one's textured. There's a lot of wallpaper in there and the colors all go together.
This is patchwork here. And plant card, and then she stitched some used ledger paper to the back and put a fabric pocket here. So there's that one. And then today, I got one that I had just ordered from her last batch of books. I wanted one of her homebodies books, so I finally got one. It's not one of the larger ones. I didn't have one of the larger ones in this batch, but I was able to get on there in time to get one, and I was so thrilled. But she had it wrapped in this party tablecloth for probably a little girl's birthday party, and it's got paper doll images on it. How cute is that? And a little bag of some cruel, whoops, some cruel embroidery yarn, some beads, all kinds of stuff. There's a little bell in there. I haven't opened it to actually look at everything. There's a tag here for suggested uses for glitter trim. So it must have had glitter trim on this package. Maybe there's, maybe there's glitter trim on that package still. Oh yeah, look at that. Huh, cool. All right, and then she had it tied up with this. I love this trim. That is so adorable. So here's the book that I just got today. It was a quilting book, and so I love quilts. I tried to be a quilter, but I'm not very good at it, but I love quilts. And she used a lot of fabrics and some pages from the quilt book. So I love this tissue pattern paper on the front and some feed tack fabric and a button. And this button is attached to this button, which I think is awesome. Some more fabric here, fabric here. It feels like it's Mod Podged. And the little flowers, some little rosettes, and then there's little buttons on the spine. There's sparkles on the spine too. So look at all the sparkles. When she showed this um, before she put it in her shop, it, none of the pockets were filled. So she said that would be a surprise. So it was fun to see what she filled the pockets with. So here's a label for needlepoint wool. A little strawberry shortcake thank you card. My daughter was really into strawberry shortcake when she was little. Just some fabric stitched here and the tab card. Lots of fabric. I just love her creativity. Little button sewn there. And on the back there's a piece of lace as a pocket. Piece of ledger. A coin pocket. Stamped original. And it just has her card in there, the bookery. And she made, this is from a game card, and she just sewed a couple pieces of paper and a little scrap of fabric there to make a little notepad. Here's from one of the quilt book pages. Tissue paper and fabric. Little paper dolls in here. She actually taped the tabs down on him so the suit will stay put. That's cool. And this is a vellum pocket. And I think this is wallpaper. She put a few squares of fabric up here, which I love. She just paper clipped them in so I can use them to decorate the book with. Got a little postcard there. Vintage pattern here. And there's a, just a little piece of fabric sewn on the flap. And some plant cards tucked in. This is a little cotton sack with a drawstring. She sewed, or glued probably, nope, she sewed it through the buttonhole. There's a piece of felt and fabric and a button. And these are a couple of cards from school books or something. 
and she glued the little drawstring sack on or sewed it on as a little little tuck spot there. And this is a fabric sample card. There's some fabrics all collaged together and then she just did stitching all around. Freeform stitching, I guess it's called. There's paper money here, um, game money. Wallpaper there. Even Hello Kitty note paper. This is pretty much all vintage stuff, and then there's Hello Kitty. I just love her eclectic vibe. This is wallpaper. I think she said she just takes pieces of fabric and puts them all out on her cutting board and then takes her roller, her rotary cutter, just kind of slices through them until, so the fabrics are cut up in all different shapes and then she just stitches them on her pages. Ready to paint furniture. Sears, Roebuck and Company. This one has a piece of needlepoint canvas or something and a little piece of, I think it's uh, feed sack fabric and safety pin to it. So her idea for these domestic, or I call them domestic arts when I make them, it's her home bodies book, is to give you supplies to execute some of the crafts. So I'll probably try to do some embroidery on that or something. I've never done needlepoint. Some buttons, another vintage pattern. Drying herbs. I love that piece of wallpaper. You can tell that's vintage. There's a piece of wrapping paper back here. And this gorgeous little sunflower patchwork piece or whatever. Grandma's flower garden, I don't know. There's some gingham here. Another piece of patchwork, some wallpaper. a vintage open house invitation a little vintage lady and I think she made these she used to sell these I think in her shop they're labels and they're stamped I like them this pocket is very very interesting I think it's made from uh, one of the fabric sample cards the card is right here and she folded it up maybe I'm not sure but there's another piece of fabric here and there's all this interesting there's a piece of a sweater there's a piece of uh, graph like a pattern design from a book this interesting wool design and then inside is this little bag that has counted glass bead ornament kit and it's got the full kit isn't that cute This is wallpaper. It's a little invitation shaped like a strawberry basket and there's some yarn that I can use on that little piece of needlework fabric she, whoops, she gave me. Excuse me for hitting the camera. This is a label from a sheet or a pillowcase. There's 
that other interest the other side of that interesting piece it has a little French vocabulary card there and this is the wreath card that I think is in the first book that I got from her but it wasn't folded up like this it's put in the book like this I think And that's the end. So now you've seen my collection of seven journals that I have purchased from journal artists. And I love each and every one of them. They are all different. And I admire the artist behind each one. So thank you each and every um, journal artist out there because I enjoy watching videos and getting inspiration whether I can afford to buy your journals or or not obviously I can't buy from everybody but I, I sure do enjoy seeing what everybody does thank you so much for watching bye bye <laughs>